Are you expanding or are you contracting? Are you speaking up or staying silent out of fear? Are you being more of yourself or are you living somebody else's life? These are questions that you may need to ask yourself at certain points in life, especially when things they feel like there's something just underneath the surface for yourself, where things are bubbling up, and it almost feels like something new needs to be birthed for, something a, a greater version of you needs to, to come forth. And there's almost like a sense of that that comes around with that, a sense of a desire to, to open more, to be more, to do more. And what comes with that, there's this desire to grow more, and also there's a greater pressure that kind of pushes back against it as well at this new level. And this would be the pressure of, say, your friend group, your environment, or the opinions of others or even fear of the situation. Say fear of you know, losing money, or fear of losing opportunities, whatever it may be. Or fear of losing friends or loved ones, as they may not want to associate with you. That's, you know, those are fears that are there, but it's part of the growing pains. The growing pains of becoming that next love version of you. Now, where this video kind of comes from is I made a video a couple days ago about, uh, I called it How to Escape the Matrix. And it was just my plan on how I intend to, to exit out of my 9 to 5 job and become my own man and make money for myself and essentially have more control over my own life so that I can live it the way that I choose to so that I can expand into that and I put in quite a bit of emotion onto it because it was very a hot topic on my mind at the time and it's been a topic that's been on my mind for quite a while but I've always been concerned about sharing it there was always the fear of Ooh, you know, what if somebody from work sees this and this and that and everything? And, you know, what if I lose my job over it? What if I, you know, can't pay the bills after that anymore or anything like that? And so there was a lot of fear around it. And before making that film, the, the night before, I realized, like, no, I need to step more into this expansion, into speaking my mind, speaking about the ideas that are in my head and speaking them more truthfully to the energy that I feel them in. And that sometimes brings out more emotion. Sometimes that brings out more, you know, anger about the situation or or whatever it brings up. And but it's real. That's how I feel about the situation. And in doing so, it caused a bit of feedback from, from close ones to me that said, hey, Daniel, please, we're concerned about you that if somebody from work finds this video or if, uh, you know, you get backlash from at your workplace and you, and you lose your job and all that and I appreciate the the concerns of those close ones and I thought to myself well no I'm not going to take down that video and it's okay however it plays out is how it has to play out but I'm choosing to speak what is on my mind and what is is important to me and in the way that I believe I should say it because I believe that 
there's a more important thing here to if if somebody is listening out there and has been having the same kind of thoughts going through their mind of how they can expand their life who knows maybe the my perspective would be the thing that helps them to to realize like hey maybe this is this is not a situation that I want to be in for the rest of my life and if anything when I make these videos I kind of also imagine that I'm speaking to myself from a couple of years ago one that was extremely where I was extremely riddled by fear of pretty, pretty much everything and if there's somebody out there that gets some sort of value out of it that's what actually matters most to me somebody that may have been like me in the past where where I was totally consumed with fear where fear entirely ran my life in all aspects to a much much greater degree I'm not saying that it's completely absent I'm saying that it was a much higher level and I wouldn't even have made a video like that well, I wouldn't have made a video at all, let alone a video like that on a on a very kind of uh, touchy topic like that. Especially while I'm still working in a, in in the system. So, yeah, it it may seem a little bit wild, a little bit uh, nonsensical to to speak out in a, in a way almost like cut the branch that I'm sitting on. But then again, it's like well. I value helping out my audience. I value giving my opinion in its in its authenticity. And I also see it as important for myself as a person to continue to generate this this desire and this feeling of expansion and of courage. Now, out of practicality, I'm not going to quit my job just yet. It's something that's been on my mind, but there's just practical matters of bills have to be paid. So, but what I can do in the meantime is to put out my opinion, to put out my voice out there, and if somebody gain something from it, then absolutely that would be, that would mean the world to me. And whatever happens, happens. And I have trust in myself that, that I'll make it through one way or another. And also too, it doesn't really bother me that much because the, uh, because of the things that I've spoken about in the video, uh, namely relating to, uh, to all of the COVID stuff. It, uh, I saw the video get repressed, like, straight away. Like, I was watching it climb up to, you know, 20, 20 views to 27 views to 30-something to views, and then within a couple hours later, it just crashed back down to 7. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, we're, we're getting suppressed already, great. Fuck you very much, YouTube. So, um, but yeah. But what I'm trying to get at here is there was a sense of expansion, this desire to say what I wanted to say. And having that fear of living in fear, well, r rather living in fear, where it's this constant tension of like, ooh, I can't say this, I can't open my mouth. Uh, I see that, and I sense that nowadays as a way of, of, of contracting myself. When, as much as possible, I need to expand. And how this relates to you is that if you are also feeling this, you're in this mode of expansion, lean into that which you may be fearing. Lean into the showing of yourself, being more of who you are. And in doing so, you'll, you'll encounter the growing pain of more feedback coming to you that may be negative. It may be 
people trying to tell you to be more cautious, to uh, to say, hey, stop what you're doing. It's it's going to be too much. It's going to be too scary. And to that, I say, allow allow them to. You know, well, first of all, thank them for for what they see in the situation. Some of them do care for you genuinely. Others, they do not, and just wish to to throw shit upon you. But just keep moving on. If you have a sense in yourself that what you're doing is the right path and is leading you to a greater expansion of yourself, go for it. And know that more of this would come along the way. And I know for myself is that along my journey, I will get a lot of people that will not like me. I will get a lot of people that will even hate me. Sure, fine because of the views that I have, or because, you know, the things that I want to say, or maybe they just, you know, just want to hate me. Sure. But don't fear that for yourself. If you have this desire to grow more, and that's a beautiful thing to have, sometimes, uh, I know for myself for a long while, the desire to expand was just completely gone. It just was, that, that fire was completely extinguished. Don't let that fire extinguish it within yourself. If you have that sense of expansion, go for it. Allow that fire to grow. And in that growth, you may encounter that pushback. Just keep going through it. Take calculated steps, of course, yes, but keep pushing through it. And the, the fear of other people's opinions, the fear of you know, what will people say about me? What what will people think? I think there was a quote from, from, I think it was Aristotle, a long while back, saying, if you don't, something along the lines of, if you don't want to hear any negative feedback or any harsh words against your progress or your growth, just ensure that you say nothing, that you do nothing, and that you be nothing. Then you will not get any of the flack from other people's opinions if you just are nothing. So if you want to be something, if you want to expand, understand that there will be challenges along the road and that there will be a bit of pushback. But you will grow, and you will grow stronger to meet those challenges. And that if you feel that desire within you to expand, lean into it. Lean into the fear, and just go for it. Be more of who you are, and be true to your nature, and speak your truth.